someone's like greased this up. Okay, what's going on today? Apparently there's a new DJI drone coming. Basically you can see in the FCC site there was an alert and a registration for the application. And it says here, production purpose camera drone. What is this, huh? And reading the details here, it is from DJI. And from what I gather, you can see things like the label. And it says here, camera drone model MT2PD. Now with that, the assumption is this is a Mavic Mini 2 because that code is actually really similar to the original Mavic Mini. But you would wonder, would they release that so fast? I think it's not even one year old yet. One interesting thing is it says it apparently has 2.4 and 5.8G Wi-Fi. So you would assume at first, oh no, it's going to be the Wi-Fi signal again, which is one of the biggest negative of the original Mini. But then it also says it has 2.4 and 5.8G without the Wi-Fi, so could this be the OcuSync potentially? That would be actually a big improvement. Some other information we can get out of this label here, it says powered by battery, 2250 milliamps. So that should give you the idea of the size, and they actually show you a diagram, I suppose, where the label would be normally. It looks almost exactly like the original Mini in terms of the cover, where you open and close. So if this is indeed the Mavic Mini 2, do you think it's too quick? I would have thought they would announce something like the Mavic 3 by now. I guess they're preparing for the Black Friday times or the Christmas time. Do people have tons of disposable income during days like this with all the lockdowns in many places? To my knowledge too, the original Mavic Mini actually has the technical capability to do 4K, but they just didn't turn it on, I guess, for whatever reason. Although a lot of people do theorize that the Mavic Mini felt like an incomplete product and they said this would make sense if this comes out now because this would be more along the lines of what they wanted to make. And with the thought of the Mavic Mini, one of the advantages is supposed to be the fact that it weighs less than 250. I would assume it's going to be the same thing. That way you don't have to do things like registration in a lot of places. So this one was actually interesting just in relations to flying drones and education. This one says drone education courses cleared for takeoff across the state. The Federal Aviation Administration is doing its part to help high school and college students learn how to use drone technology on the farm. The way the agriculture field is going to go, it's going more towards technology and that interests me more. There's a lot of drones coming into it and I wanted to learn more about that, said DCB sophomore Alex Hofford. It's the first such program held at a college through the FAA where students learn the ins and outs of unmanned aircraft systems or drones. It also puts the technology straight into the students' hands. That's where I was kind of skeptical because as everyone knows, a lot of the regulations across the world are so over the top, they don't actually teach you anything about drone safety and flying a drone. It's all huge manned aircraft related. So I was like, oh no, how's this going to turn out? But looking at the video, you can see they're actually getting hands-on experience flying the drone and all that. That's what it should be. Not crazy over the top questions as if you're flying a huge airplane 2,000 feet in the air. And it did make me think of things like regulations too because when you look at the video you can see they're flying in a huge field. It looks like the person is using like a Mavic Mini as well but it has propeller guards. Oh there goes the 250 grams. Now you can't fly that legally without doing all this registration and stuff. That's my example how it doesn't make sense a lot of ways with what's created. It should be started from ground up in relations to a drone and with practical experience. And I guess the cool thing is you can see the classroom, there's like a bunch of people flying drones in there. Imagine having a class like that, huh? I would have loved to take a course like that. And this is another negative of the Mini I've been noticing. I think it's due to the design of it, like the case and all. Let's see if it's going to do the same thing again. Exact same propeller, exact same position all the time. It must be due to that box and stuff like that or the package they gave you. So they need to fix that if you're releasing a new one of this.
Why are all the animals fighting today? See you guys later.